。法西斯侵略者再次浴血奋战。斯大林格勒战役成为第二次世界大战的转折点，保证了反法西斯战争的胜利。这座英雄城市坚韧不屈的精神，在他的子孙后代身上得以传承。伏尔加格勒也是俄罗斯体育的圣地。二零零四年奥运会，有五名俄罗斯冠军是伏尔加格勒人。伊辛巴耶娃的童年在伏尔加格勒少年第五体校度过。少年时期在伏尔加格勒中心区的奥林匹克后备学校度过，在整个伏尔加格勒类似的体校有七十多家。I know that you you came from a very、uh, modest、uh, family in a very famous and a very heroic city called Volgograd, and、uh, you you told the reporters once that actually your parents. Uh, sacrificed a lot、mm -hmm. for your career.、Mm -hmm. How's the family situation in influence on your career and on your character?、Um, uh, they was、uh, from beginning when I was young. They was、um, like、uh, with my sister. They they were strict with us, and every time we knew that、uh, like we cannot take something from other people. Like in Chinese families. Yes, yeah, yeah. but very strict. And we know that our family was maybe a bit lower than the middle, but we always trust that okay, we're gonna be better in the future. And like step by step, after gymnastic, and when I change gymnastic for the, to the pole vault, you know, I start to improve, and my family support me so much. Have you ever heard that your previous、uh, coach ever,、uh, was quoted as saying that actually? You you are so good because of your genetic、uh, ancestry because your father is from uh, uh, Dagestan、yeah. and your mother is from uh, uh, Cossacks. 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 It's a but kind of. But not Cossacks. It's like a Cossack. It's like some Russians, but you know we. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Very strong and very you know very good high spirit. So. He said, actually, you have a magic, explosive, explosive mixture、yeah, in your genetic. That's true. So you you do have time that、uh, you have a very high temper. Yes, yes. Oh, maybe. When people maybe say, "Wow,、oh, the, the era of Elena is finished."、Uh, And Elena, you know that the the eyes becomes red, like, like a bull, like boom, boom. <laughs> that is good because I cannot stay quiet. And I'm so emotional, but it's like this. It happens like this, and then I can be quiet also, like for one second. What's the, what's your way to keep quiet? My way? Yes. Ten days, ten times, <laughs> ten ten brief.、Yeah. Deep breath. Deep breath. Really?、Yeah. Mm. That's simple.、Uh, it's not so simple when you're so angry to try to 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 quiet. Exactly. 身体里流淌着哥萨克人血液的伊莲娜。天生具备了优秀运动员应该具备的不服输的性格。儿时的伊莲娜在体操领域显得很有天赋，特别是腰腹的柔韧性和身体的协调性出奇的好。就连那些练习柔术的同龄人也没有她这样突出的素质。十五岁那年，她夺得了俄罗斯青年体操全国冠军。但是天意难违，十五岁的叶莲娜身高超过了一米七零，这个高度对于体操运动员来说实在是太高了。然而，叶莲娜爆发力、身体力量、柔韧性、舒展性、协调性等多方面的特长，被一位俄罗斯著名田径教练看中。他告诉叶莲娜的父母，这个孩子应该练习撑杆跳。You know, it's a, it's a very famous story that actually, in when you're a kid, you practice the、uh, gymnastics,、mm -hmm. and later on they say you're too tall,、yeah. and you're too fast, and you turn to pole. What was the exact story? No, it it was like this. I、it's、was、like、too tall, yeah, for gymnastics and coach. Were you were you a little bit、uh, forced to turn to pole vault, or you volunteered yourself? You really like it、uh, the first no, time. No, honestly, I didn't heard about this about pole vault before. For me, it was I was surprised about this event because I didn't hear anything about track and field. For me, it was only gymnastics, no nothing, nothing more. And when I went to the indoor hall,、uh -huh. I was like, wow, what is this? Ah,、oh, like this, you know. I was not sure that I gonna do something here. But then, step by step, you know, it's it happens every 
the how say the new event comes so easy, yeah. And I say okay, maybe that is my place. 一九九九年，转行练撑杆跳高只有两年的叶莲娜就获得了世界青年田径锦标赛冠军，此后便一路高歌。母亲娜塔莉亚骄傲地说：“叶莲娜是全世界最漂亮、最健美的姑娘。”今年八月十八日，不仅是伊辛巴耶娃夺得奥运金牌和第二十四次打破世界纪录的日子，也是母亲的生日。这是叶莲娜送给妈妈最宝贵的生日礼物。妈妈，这个礼物都是你。正如母亲所说的那样，叶莲娜强壮而美丽。作为一名撑杆跳高运动员，伊辛巴耶娃亭亭玉立。她很清楚自己苗条健美的身材，让她在赛场上获得了极高关注度。他曾直言，退役后希望成为一名模特。和大多数的女人一样，叶莲娜喜欢购物，喜欢各种各样的时尚品，喜欢探讨美容护肤和保持身材的问题，并对关于美容和减肥的秘诀颇有心得。不过，叶莲娜并不喜欢把自己打扮成香艳模样，也不喜欢经常参加各种名流的时尚派对，因为她知道。美丽的女孩随处可见，但是世界冠军和世界纪录保持者却是凤毛麟角。能够将美丽、成功、力量集于一身，才是最重要的。People compare you with all these、uh, very famous sports uh, uh, women in Russia.、Mm. You know, you do have a lot of beautiful and you know glamorous、uh, mm -hmm. women, female players and athletes in Russia, like.、Uh, Sarah Paula,、mm -hmm. and they people compare you and her,、uh, uh, saying that、uh, you're some sort of a sex symbol <laughs> because you're so beautiful, and at the same time you can play in your items so beautiful <laughs> or so excellency. But I think it's not good if the people comparing or something because we are all girls and we are all different and we are all the best in our in our own area, and and also. <laughs> I don't know if I'm some symbol or not, but I don't know. And、yeah. I think every every girl they are the best,、uh, the best in. Who are you? Are you a, a a Russian girl, or you say a provincial girl from Russia, from Volgograd, or you're a very beautiful sportswoman? <laughs> I think is I'm both. <laughs>、uh -huh. Yeah, because I am Russian and. Okay, I don't like to say anything about myself, but I, I'm not deaf. <laughs> I hear what people talking about, and yes,、uh, <laughs> they count me beautiful. But for me, more important that I'm、uh, can compare. I can mix the beauty and、uh, success and power you know, all together. So that is more important. That in that case, you are a perfect woman. Yeah, five, fifth <laughs> element. <laughs> fifth element. That's right. <laughs> okay, so. <coughs> Now it's almost a kind of a merit, or a, let's say a kind of a top so far in your career. Do you feel challenged? No, I feel only not respect, unrespect, or something. I feel only this. There is no challenge. 随着伊辛巴耶娃的成功，人们对她的非议也逐渐多起来。很多人认为。由于每破一次记录，国际田联就将奖励破纪录的运动员五万美元奖金，因此是不菲的奖金让伊辛巴耶娃对于破纪录乐此不疲。二零零四年雅典奥运会后，叶莲娜为自己购置了一辆豪华宝马轿车，这一举动引起了并不富裕的俄罗斯田径界的轩然大波，人们纷纷指责她过于奢侈。面对这一切，个性率真的叶莲娜理直气壮地反驳：“哪个姑娘不喜欢漂亮的时装和名车呢？谁都知道我的钱是怎么挣来的。” Uh, how do you view money? How I'm by money? Yes. No, no, nothing. I'm gonna say because I didn't know from beginning about any price money or something, and now、uh, I don't know what this Russia gonna give me for the gold medal because I don't care. It's important, but it's not the first place because first place is was defend my my Olympic title with world records and then other things. 
And the, the main motive mm -hmm. for you to, to play, mm -hmm. to jump, is to show.